In this lecture, we're going to discuss the iodoform test. Now, iodoform test uh, identifies two very specific and unique structures. And the conditions needed for, the, for performing this test are you need iodine and NaOH aqueous. So it would be iodine mixed with NaOH aqueous or you can call this, uh, you can also call this uh, alkaline aqueous iodine. So this is the condition needed for the test and it identifies these two specific structures. One is a methyl ketone. So there is CH3 next to a C double bond O and then there's the rest of the molecule. So, so the structure must be in exactly the same order. It would be CH3 followed by C double bond O. The other structure that it identifies is, again, there's going to be a methyl and on the neighboring carbon atom, there has to be an OH group. An OH group with high, at least one hydrogen attached to that particular carbon atom and then there's the rest of the molecule. So it, so iodoform test identifies these two very specific structures. And, and in both cases, when you perform this reaction, when you mix iodine and NaOH aqueous, what happens is that this methyl, uh, which is bonded to the carbon double bond O, it breaks. Uh, or in the second structure, the methyl bonded to the carbon, which is bonded to the alcohol group that breaks and these methyls they end up forming in both cases they end up forming chi3 which is a yellow precipitate so in both cases one side breaks away the methyl side and it ends up forming chi3 which is a yellow precipitate whereas the other side what happens to the other side is that this particular carbon, if you focus on this particular carbon over here, which I am highlighting in both cases, this gets converted into a carboxylic acid. And since you're reacting excess NOH, so this carboxylic acid would end up reacting with that excess NOH and it would end up forming a salt of the carboxylic acid. So, so you're going to get a salt of carboxylic acid instead of the carboxylic acid. It's going to be O minus one and Na plus. So you're going to get this salt that would be formed. So the conditions are alkaline, which is why this side breaks away and ends up forming a carboxylic acid. So this would uniquely identify these two structures. Nothing else. If this structure is present in a molecule, then the iodoform test is going to be positive. Let's start with our first example of, uh, of the iodoform test. So I'm going to take a molecule uh, and let's uh, see if butanone has a positive iodoform test and if it has a positive iodoform test then what are the products of that test so so I have butanone butanone has four carbon atoms so there are four carbon atoms and there's going to be a double bond O somewhere in the middle so there are two carbon atoms you, you're always going to get the same ketone and there would be three hydrogens with this carbon atom, there would be two hydrogens with this carbon atom, and there would be three hydrogens with the last carbon atom. So this is butanone. And if you look carefully, um, what you would notice is that butanone has the structure that is needed for a positive iodoform test. You needed a methyl group, so you have CH3, and it should be bonded to C double bond O, and then you have the rest of the molecule. So this structure is present in butanone if you look carefully over here so so this structure is present and what's going to happen is the iodoform test is going to be positive the methyl part is going to break away and it's going to end up forming a yellow precipitate of ch i3 so you're going to get a yellow precipitate of ch i3 whereas this carbon atom over here which on the left hand side this part of the molecule this part of the molecule is going to break away. It's going to end up forming a carboxylic acid. So you, you're going to have CH3, CH2, and the last carbon atom that uh, was bond uh, broke away, which I highlighted, that would get converted into a carboxylic acid. But since uh, the conditions are alkaline, you're not going to get a carboxylic acid. You're going to get a salt of the carboxylic acid. 
Let's do another example of iodoform test. So I'm going to try and do the iodoform test for propane 2 all. Now propane 2 all has three carbon atoms. So you've got one, two, and three carbon atoms, and the OH group would be on the second carbon atom. Plus you're going to have three hydrogens over here. There's going to be one hydrogen over here, and there would be three hydrogens on the left hand side. Now if you look carefully, again the iodoform test is going to be positive because uh, it has that specific structure where uh, you have a methyl group which is attached to a carbon atom which is attached to an OH group. So this part would break away when you do perform the iodoform test and it would end up forming triiodomethane CHI3 which is going to be a yellow precipitate. And the other part, this carbon over here, the other side, the rest of the molecule is going to break apart and it's going to form. So this side breaks apart and ends up forming CH3 and the C that I have highlighted, it, it ends up forming a carboxylic acid which ends up reacting with the, with the, um, with the alkali in the alkaline condition ends up forming a salt. So if you're using any OH, a salt of sodium would be formed instead of the carboxylic acid. And this is the reaction, the iodoform test for propane 2 all. Let's do the iodoform test for ethanol now. Now ethanol has two carbon atoms. And there's an OH group attached on the second carbon atom. And the rest is you have CH3 and you have these hydrogens to complete all the bonds. Now if you look at uh, ethanol, again the exact same case what happens is uh, you have a methyl group which is attached to a carbon atom which is next to a carbon atom which is attached to an OH group. So again the aeroform test is going to be positive. This methyl is going to break apart. It's going to end up forming CHI3. The triiodomethane which is going to be a yellow precipitate and the rest of the molecule it's going to end up forming a carboxylic acid. Specifically this carbon atom over here, it would end up forming a carboxylic acid, which is going to be methanoic acid in this case. And uh, it's not, it, the carboxylic acid formed, it's going to end up reacting with the excess alkali. And when it reacts with excess alkali, you're going to end up forming, it would end up forming a salt with that excess alkali. So you're going to get a salt of the carboxylic acid, which is formed. We're going to discuss some uh, cases where they would be giving that would be giving negative results for iodoform tests. So let's look at this uh, at this option A. Uh, we've already discussed that iodoform specifically comes positive if if a molecule has this exact structure: methyl next to a cedyl bond or a carbonyl group, or uh, it has methyl next to a carbon with with an OH group. But remember, there has to be a hydrogen next to it as well. So let's look at the first one. For this, the test is going to be, it's going to be negative. The reason is that it, although it has a cedar bondo group, but there's no methyl group, specifically a methyl group. Uh, in this molecule, you have an ethyl group, uh, which would not give a positive result. So in this particular case, the result is going to be negative. So it has to be the exact same structure. Now let's look at option number B. Again, the result is negative because although there is a methyl and it's next to a carbon which is connected to an OH, but there's no, there's a, there's a hydrogen atom missing next to it. That must be there. So that exact structure is missing in this molecule as well. So again, it's not going to give a positive result. Now let's look at option number C and this one is going to give a positive result. A yellow precipitate would be formed. You have a methyl group which is next to a C double bond O. Now this is the exact structure that gives a positive result for iodoform test. So this is going to give a positive result. Again, let's move to option number D. Again, the result is going to be positive because you have the exact structure present in the molecule. You have a methyl group which is attached to a carbon atom, which is attached to an OH, and it's also attached to a hydrogen. So this exact structure is present in this molecule. So these two, the last two options, are going to give positive results. So remember, the iodoform test is only positive if the exact same structure, the one that I've shown over here, are present in the molecule.